Looking for Madden 21 Ultimate Team Coins with fast delivery? IG Vault has the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Click the link in the description and use coupon code SPORTS for 6% off your order. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Duke. I'm back here from SportsGamers.com and I'm here with another Madden 21 gameplay. This is from Weekend League. I know we haven't done many gameplays lately, but we're going to do a few more before Madden 22 drops. We're going to do a few more tip videos. We're going to still be doing a couple of videos a week. And once Madden 22 drops, we're going to get back to posting videos on a daily basis, uh, gameplays and tips. So guys, if you enjoy my YouTube content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn your notifications on. Give us a like on the video. It really does help us out a lot to be able to continue to do these videos for you guys. Also, if you're looking to get better at Madden 21 and definitely Madden 22 once it comes out, check out sportsgamers.com. That's where I post all my premium tips, ebooks, offensive and defensive schemes, all my content to help you guys get better at the game. Now, this game in particular, this was an absolute hell game. Um, came down to the end. This is a game where I'm going to be going over a lot of defense. Uh, this guy, he ran the ball a lot. So you guys can see he's coming on strong wing. But like then, you know, he did run some meta. Uh, we did some meta bunch, meta bunch and trips tied in defensive videos recently. This is going to be a bunch tied in, guys. So something a little bit different. So first play of the game, it looks like he hit me up a counter. And um, definitely didn't expect that because most of the time people try to run stretch from that formation and I can easily blow that up. So that definitely caught me off guard. So now I'm thinking, okay, I might need to watch out for that because that actually did look pretty good. And then he runs fullback dive the next play and I'm able to blow that up. So kind of interesting that he ran the ball twice from the wing and he didn't even try to stretch. Uh, pretty unconventional, but hey. Now third and three and he's in bunch tight end. So, you know... As soon as I see this formation from most players, especially when they have RG3, I'm thinking immediately probably roll out PA boot over. Um, and, you know, in those types of situations, I do like to blitz them pretty heavily. So that's exactly what he does here. And as you guys can see, I blitzed pretty heavily from both sides and was able to get a quick sack. So that should be a three and out. Yeah, he's going to punt the ball. Really, really good defense. Um, you know, if you notice that somebody wants to roll out, that's the best way to stop it is to not let them just sack them before they can even roll out you know what I mean so great start to the game for me now we're gonna get right back to offense so don't know what he's gonna run on defense have never played this guy before but based upon the fact that he tried bunch tight end his first drive he's probably gonna be in some meta something I would guess probably three through five wide or three to five you know that would be my guess um, you know, we're running our trips offense this game. I've been running a little bit of trips, uh, a little bit of bunch of mostly trips. Uh, at the end of the year, I switched over to trips just because of the base. Honestly, the base just really gives so many players problems, especially as I want to run the three through five wide like he does. I'm looking at his abilities and I see that, um, you know, he's got pretty standard abilities. He's got a really good team. He actually did a very good job right there of blowing that run up, um, or at least slowing it down. I mean, he got you know, he basically took out my lineman that was coming across the formation with his user, and because he did that, the guy uh, was able to clean it up, basically hold me to no game, but you know, it's like, I, I need to see him do that again, I don't trust that, that that was consistent, I think I probably just snapped the ball at the perfect time for him to kind of like get a speed boost with his user, and I got five yards right there, so that tells me like, yeah, you know, probably will be able to still run this on him. But, I mean, the first play definitely looked like he had good defense for it. So, we're going to go ahead and hit him with a dot here, at least try to. Um, notice he left a flat wide open. Was pretty late with the requi, honestly. Um, Mike Blitz 3. So, yeah, he's running a lot of meta. I had the flat so so early on that play. Pretty, pretty late read there. Uh, luckily, though, I was still able to pick it up. Now, because he's in cover three, I'm going to see if I can't bomb him, but he actually is very smart. You guys can see he changed his cover three to a different coverage. Um, he made, oh, whoa, actually, he was just in cover two there. I was about to say, um, he basically changed his cover three to a cover two, but I guess he actually did just straight up pick cover two. So I guess that was an unfortunate call for me because he had been running the cover three, you know, and then I go for cover three bomb when he just happened to audible to cover two. So, you know, hell of a... Hell of a play call right there by him. But second and one, we're going to see if we can't hit him with a pass. Uh, get a little playmaker action for the first down. So, you know, we're moving the ball pretty easily here. Slowly, though. We haven't got any huge plays yet. 
Uh, and he's back at, you know, he played cover two again. So maybe he's going to switch it up between the two throughout the game. I don't know. But again, pretty solid uh, user there. I was able to avoid him and get a good gain, but he almost was able to come through that gap very in a very uh, unique angle to make a play there. So he is making me work. As you guys can see, my players are getting tired. I'm having to scroll through to kind of get them a little bit more stamina. And, you know, I haven't had anything super easy yet on this drive. We're about to be at the end of the first quarter. Probably should just milk this here and go to the second quarter to get all my players back, stamina-wise, but I snapped the ball. Not a good call there. I should have, shouldn't have done that. Um, but, you know, we did pick up the flag, get a first down. So it was in the end of the world. Still, though, we're in field goal range. You know, we did get a stop. So at this point, it's just don't do anything stupid, honestly, is what I'm thinking. I'm trying to, like, when I get in these situations, a lot of times I do try to go for a big play to get a touchdown because, like, I don't want to get in the red zone and get stuck. And I might have circled here, but it kind of just looked a little, a little too close, you know. So we're just going to throw the ball away there. No need to force something. Maybe if I had not any defenders chasing me, it was just completely, you know, clean. I, I could have tried. But, you know, that's one of those times where, you know, it's coverage is tight. You're getting chased. Like, it's just kind of a risky decision to try to you know, fit that in. So, you know, we're going to take the safe route. Because, again, we already have guaranteed ourselves at least three points if we don't make a mistake. Um, so, we're in the ball in second down. Why? <sighs> Just wanted to give myself a little bit more manageable third down to put myself in a situation where, you know, I have anything in my playbook available to me. And, you know, even though, what, you only get three, four yards, you still kind of put yourself in that position. So, we'll take it. Um... Pretty decent job again there defensively. He's he's decided to do a lot of cover two recently, so you know we're just gonna take a three. He's definitely played solid defense. Um, his defense is looking a lot better than his offense. His offense is kind of looking like very, you know, basic meta stuff. His defense, he's running meta, but like he is playing. He, you know, he's he's making adjustments and he's mixing it up pretty well. So honestly, I feel like at this point that this is going to be probably a defensive game to where like as long as I don't do anything stupid on offense I should win because like I'll be able to put some points up um you know driving on moving on him whereas I, you know I don't feel like unless I screw up offensively he's gonna have much success himself moving the ball on me now he's an iPhone so I'm thinking of course he's trying to run the ball and of course my camera angle's messed up like what is going on here oh and I, sh I shoot through and I click off and you know able to get to force it outside and make the tackle, but lost the two yards. Uh, running the ball from under center is just not the, the move. Like, you can't do that. That big nickel over G defense is just going to blow it up. Now he's back in bunch tied in, and I'm like, okay. He's probably, like, I'm thinking he's probably just, once again, PA boot over type guy. And that time, I guess he saw the first time he went to that, I blitzed him so heavily. Now he had a quick drag to his tight end. So I, I did see that with my user. I just saw a split second too late, and I couldn't jump up on it. So he motioned his running back to the left. That means he's definitely passing. Back PA pooed over. I just played basic man there. Nothing is open. Send the spy. Send the spy. Nothing's open. That should be a pick. Should be a pick. Ooh. Almost looked like he got a low ball without low balling. Very fortunate for him right there. But, you know, fourth and six, he had. Honestly, he should punt because he's had no success on offense. But he probably will go for it just because most Madden players are stubborn. And, you know, 4th and 6 is like a very hard pill to swallow to, to punt the ball. Oh, now he's in bunch. Okay. So, I definitely right, am very comfortable playing against bunch. Um, It's like he threw an in-breaking route before it even broke because he's about to get sacked. So, luckily for him, his receiver was able to catch that because he did. That was not good timing. He kind of just forced that because he was getting screamed at. But hey, this is definitely gonna be inside zone. So when you see that motion he just did on that play, nine um, really, not, really every time everyone runs inside zone. Uh, I don't. Some people just think that makes the inside zone work better. Whatever, but it's a, it's a clear tell. So if I see him do that again, I'm probably just gonna run commit.
Bunt side in again. Now he, we are at the two minute warning though, and he is inching. I get ball at half. Goes a little just man to man here, zone drop, and there's nothing. He caught that. Okay. I mean, it, it wasn't open. I guess somehow it just worked. I mean, you guys tell me, was that open? Doing the motion again, this is definitely going to be a pass. Again, you can't motion the running back and run the ball. <laughs> what is this guy throwing? How, like, how is that not a pick? He just literally threw the ball right to me. Um, no one caught it, I guess. Whew. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> okay, he runs the ball. Derrick Henry coming in the game trying to just truck stick everybody. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess at this point he's just searching for anything to do. This is not when you know you got someone struggling. Is they're just coming out here doing... I mean, this drive is a struggle fest. <laughs> Thing is, he's already in field goal range, though, I believe. Assuming he has a decent kicker, halfway decent. All right, back in bunch. Let's watch that in-breaking route this play. Maybe a corner route. We'll see. He maxed protect last time. This time he doesn't. He's running flood. Uh, I gave up the out route. Uh, so first play is in bunch. He maxed protects. I was not so. I was kind of expecting something like that again. I wasn't expecting just basically stock flood. That caught me off guard. He's back in bunch. Like at this point, I'm like, okay, he's probably gonna get a field goal. Just don't give him a touchdown. He ran, <laughs> he ran short side bunch and ran the ball. Very, 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 very interesting. Now he's back in bunch tight end. So like, obviously, you can tell bunch tight end is what he wants to run. He's just not comfortable in it against my defense. We're gonna blitz him pretty heavily here. I mean, I feel like that's the move. Let's see. Watch that drag. Come on. Watch the drag. Watch the drag. Mm. Good play. Good play. Good play. That was on me. But, you know, he now he's up. And, like, for the way this half has gone, I'm very disappointed that he's up. I don't feel like he should be up at all. I feel like I've outplayed him. I just feel like the way the half has gone has kind of been... Eh. But it's okay. We do get ball half. And honestly, I have three timeouts. I mean, maybe I could get something to happen here. I mean, I'm not going to force anything, but, you know, you never know. His defense has been good, though. So to give up a big play here by him would be surprising. So I'm not going to force anything. He has two timeouts also, so that's something I needed to keep an eye on. Could have got past that level right there. Might have been out. Might have been out. There's no way he's going to play man again, though, is there? Maybe have him. He gave up the bomb right before half. <laughs> and the bat worst part about that is he showed me. He showed me... One high safety, but he actually was in cover too. But because he moved his safety into the middle of the field, he just couldn't get over there in time. Like, that was that was just plain stupid. That was, like, as bad. That was a horrible mistake. I mean, I just don't get why if you're in cover two, you're, you're showing one high. And giving me a free touchdown. I mean, not a free touchdown because, like, if I didn't have that route combo, it wouldn't have worked. But, like, if I have people going deep to the right, that safety's not going to get over there in time. Because you just have him way too far in the middle of the field. Like, I don't know if he meant to do that. That was a mistake. But whatever. Either way, now we're, we're right back up three. And I'm, I'm feeling great because I get ball half. So I'm just going to prevent defense here. Uh, no big plays. You know, he's got maybe a play or two. And we're going to make him work. Yeah, he run, I mean, I figured he'd probably just run the ball. That's fine. He can do that one more time if he wants. And then we're at halftime. I guess maybe he'll just go into half and be satisfied.
So, you know, getting ball already up three, you know, the goal is obviously a touchdown. If you can get a touchdown here, you're going to make it very hard for him to win the game. But at the same time, you just you want to take some time off the, the clock. So, you know, I haven't gotten any huge runs, but consistently I feel like I'm getting a nice five, six yards, maybe four sometimes. So, you know, we're going to keep on pounding, keep on pounding. Maybe we'll bust a big one. You never know. But, you know, when I'm consistently picking up those types of games, I have no problem running the ball because I know that eventually I'm going to, you know, I'm going to move the chains. I'm going to put some points up. And best of all, I'm going to take time off the clock. When you, and when you're up, taking time off the clock, all, I mean, it's, it's priceless. So, I mean, you can see, though, like, his defense is not – it's it's pretty – it's one of the better ones I've not honestly seen against this run from being in 3-3-5 wide. You know, he's not giving up huge runs. He's just kind of giving up, you know, medium runs. And every once in a while he'll do something like that and won't get much. So, I mean, he's playing it probably the best you can, but that's the thing. Even the best you can play it, he's still – you know, I'm still moving the ball. So – So now he he's in this three through five normal right now. You guys can see with the way the linebackers are aligned. It look it looks like, and that's no that that just wasn't good. He's just trying anything at this point because he you know he can't stop it. You know it, it's cool when you're only giving up four or five. You know the first couple times it happens, but when it keeps happening over and over and over again, you can see they're committed to running the ball. Then it's like you got to change up, and that's why he probably just did that to see if something else could could possibly work, but. That was even worse because his defense was just completely out of alignment to the to the one side that I got those yards. That was my best run yet, I believe. And I'm just milking. Milk, milk, milk and cookies. Once again, I mean, we're just... Just moving the ball. Already in field goal range. So at this point, I feel like pretty content because I've taken time off the clock. I'm guaranteeing myself points. Now the goal is a touchdown because, like, let's be real, three points, you know, he can go to a touchdown and be up. So, again, as long, now I should say, as long as I don't do something stupid, I guarantee myself points. Should be a first down right there. Now, I have the scrub Derrick Henry, not even close to the best, but, you know, whatever. For a run here and there, short yardage, he does a trick. And he's just dying out here, man. He He's doing the same. Like, he did try 3 5 normal. That one play didn't work. But still, he's kind of just content doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I just don't understand because it's not working. It's like a, a long, painful death, you know. And what, guys, what is the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And I feel like that's what's going on here. It's like clearly you can see what he's doing is not working. But yet he keeps just trying it every play. At what point do you try something else? Okay, so he got in 3 5 normal again there. That wasn't bad. He only gave him two yards, I believe. So maybe that's what he stays in? I don't know. Now, back in right, see what I mean? Right back in 3 5 wide. Like, I don't understand. That time this guy came off the edge pretty good. So, okay, this is his shot right here. This is his shot. Third and seven. He finally stopped the run on first and second down pretty well. I'm going to pass, right? You got to pass here. See what we can do. Go ahead and flip. Get the trips. Okay, he's calling timeout. I guess he didn't like to flip. Honestly, like, I feel like he's not respecting the run. I'm tempted to run the ball here, but I'm not gonna. So I'm gonna go with a little bit different type of route combo. I haven't showed him yet. Got the post. Oh, really good lurk right there. Honestly, I'm very surprised he's able to get that. I thought he was too far underneath. I thought I could lead it over his head. But hey, I gotta give him props on that. That was a nasty play right there with his user. Woo. I definitely felt great about that read until he picked it off. See, Sante got up there, though. That was a good play. All right, he's going to go back try to run the ball. I mean, this 
is not it, but hey, I'm fine from doing it. Jump in the backfield. Come on, make the tackle. Let's go. He has no run game. I gotta love it. That right there is the best run that you can do for people running I forms. Just big nickel over G. You know, depending upon the exact formation they're using, you want to use your different people, but basically you just jump in that gap and blow it up with yourself. Very simple. Only thing is you gotta make sure the defender you're using is fast so that the running back cannot outrun you. And sometimes he still will even do that even if you have a 99 speed guy. But most of the time, yeah, that's what's gonna happen is what you've seen. So he's back and bunch tight end. We're gonna play a little bit man here. Hasn't really been able to solve my defense. Nothing's open. Just send the spy, send the spy. Nothing's open. Throw it away. Third and long. Hey. Is this defense or is this defense? I mean, y'all tell me. I play some damn good D. No, I won't. <laughs> anyway, bunch. I'm, I've had my zone drops off. I'm thinking, should I turn them on? I think I have anyway. And bunch, I like the little matchy match. Let's see, he hit me a flood last time, so we gotta watch that. And he went max protect. He watched the in breaking route. Nothing's open and. Oh, somehow that got separation. Right, nasty two on that cut, right when he's going to get sacked. Oh. You know, I feel like that might have been lucky. You guys tell me, was that lucky or was that something that, that, that should have happened? I mean, I played this game a lot and I haven't really seen that happen. That might have been the first time someone with Max Protect and hit me with a corner route like that from that angle and position or whatever against that defense. But, you know, we're getting to be close to field goal range. And it's just like, oh, like I am making this guy like struggle so bad. I can't let him get any points. Oh, man, just the perfect animations, perfect throw, perfect animation right between all my defenders. Now he's in field goal range. And I'm thinking to myself, OK, like we're about three minutes. I got three timeouts. Um... I can't let him bleed this clock. Like, I need to basically hold him to three and get the ball back and win the game. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. This guy's fighting, though, for, like, as hard as I'm making it for him, he's just, he's fighting. Like, I can't get, I can't take that away. Like, he's definitely trying his hardest. And he's not just, you know, he's not just letting me get away with the game here, making it easy on me. And he wants me in this formation. We're not going to let him run the ball. That's for sure. Definitely not letting him run the ball. You're going to have to do something else. That's why I'm on that safety. All right, two-minute warning. He got third and 11. I'm assuming he don't get it. He's going to take his three. I don't feel like he has a play for this because, I mean, he hasn't showed me all game any sort of really good passing game, so... Bunch tight end. Maybe he's going to go back to that same play he did last time where he had the slant in the crosser is what I, or the post or whatever it was is my guess. I uh, beat man pretty well. What am I doing here? Am I playing? I'm playing man again and now he's a PA boot over. So, got D for this. Just come on, somebody. He's trying to send someone at the quarterback. Did he get that? Ooh, four for one. Now, this is interesting. Honestly, if I'm him, I'm going for this. I mean, I know it's risky, but if you give me this much time and a few goal wins the game... And I'm going for that because, like, I feel like I have a better chance of getting a yard than holding someone from getting into field goal range, you know, with three timeouts in two minutes, basically. I mean, but I guess he's going to safe route. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think about that. If you're him right here, do you go for it? Do you kick your three? Let me know in the comment section. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm not going to lie. Like, if I need one yard to basically, to my mind, for the game, essentially, like, I'm, I'm going for that yard. I'm not gonna just kick my points and be like here here's your three timeouts two minutes here see if you can get a field goal no even as much confidence as i have in my defense it's one yard if i can't get that so let's see man money drive right here money drive And that's the thing, like, you know, maybe if I had less time and I had to be in a rush, it'd be one thing, but I can do anything I want. 
take my free to you know take my time make it easy this, this you know just I can run the ball every play basically if I want to first play you know nice little nice little run hey six yards let's keep going I mean give me a couple more of those and we're in field goal range a cut back oh another one almost to the 40 39 let's go come on so now the thing is though you don't want to get there too fast because like you want to get there make him take his timeouts and then kick the people with no time remaining basically you don't want to have to force yourself to get a million first downs. So that's why I, like, I'm fine running the ball. Here we go, midfield. Just keep it up. See what I mean? We'll let Reggie Bush get his stamina back. I don't mind the clock running at all. I got my three timeouts. Hey, man, the clock at this point is his enemy because, I mean, I'm all, almost in field goal range. Yeah, he's a man coverage. See how the corner came across? He took a timeout. That was that was not good. Because, like, you just let a lot of time go and then took a timeout. So it's, like, kind of cost yourself right there. All right. About 46. Yep. 45, 46. So we're getting very close. I personally don't even know what my limit is for my kicker. Uh, that's probably bad. I don't look into that stuff, but. I'm just like, screw it. I don't need to know. I'm just too good. <laughs> Probably not the right attitude to have. But anyways, we'll get a few more yards. We'll kick our field goal. 35, though. What do you do here? Because like, I feel like I need a few more yards. Uh, do I just run the ball and say F it? I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, looks... I mean, I think I might have even got the first down. Yeah, so we, we got it, and we're inside the 40-39. So, like, we don't miss. We should be good to go here. Am I... Why am I kicking the field goal, though, on this down? I should just run the ball. It's kind of stupid. Make him take his last time out. He didn't even try to ice me, though, so, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Though I should have done that. I should have just ran it down, and made him take his time out even though what if I guess like I deal with ice I don't have the ability for no ice but I guess you know if he gets a touchdown in one play I guess I'll look like an idiot I'm an idiot though so <laughs> all right you know I'll know what it is prevent defense you know make them do something crazy it's not gonna happen you know here we go, PA boot over. PA boot over is the play in this situation, though. Delay fade. One, like, what? Hey, good game, though. I don't know why you ran PA boot over in that situation, but good game. Hey, hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll be back with a few more for Madden 22 comes out. Until then, next time it's Duke, I'm out of here.